Hi, this is Danny from CG Dreams and in this quick example video, we're going to be looking at getting the details from my higher polygon version of a mesh into a lower polygon mesh that's already been weighted and rigged. So in this particular case, you can see that this model is low polygon and that it's all automatically um, being weighted and it's even been animated. And you can see that is the animation. Now, there's a higher polygon version of this model and I've intentionally put it into another scene so that we can sort of keep it separate in our minds. So this is a higher polygon version of the other object, but it's also got geometry changes to it. Now, the geometry changes are basically deformation changes. So this could be morphs, as an example, that have um, actually changed this. So what I want to do is I want to be able to get this model into this model while retaining the rig and the animation and the weighting, which is very important. So the way to do this is we need to make sure that, of course, the model is subdivided to the same level as the target mesh that we want to bring in. So to do this, what we don't do is go to the mesh and commands and subdivide because this seems to change the point order. We don't want that to happen. What we do instead is we hold down the Alt key and we just click on the sub the uh, subdivision service tag and it gets applied to there. Now we need the uh, the application of this sub D service tag to be applied permanently. So what we do is we go down to the subdivision settings here and in the render settings we have this set to one. Then we just simply click on the make editable or the shortcut C key. And what it's done is it's now actually subdivided this once. Now it's by doing so, what it's done is it's actually put it inside a null. And I don't want this inside a null. So what I want to do is I want to drag this skin back into the original object there. And in fact, I can even drag the root back into the original object if I wanted to keep it exactly the way it was before. OK, it's got the same hierarchy order now. Um, the difference is, is that now when I go to the animation, you can see that the weighting has been applied. So we've got past this first problem. That being is we need to have a high res version of the mesh while retaining this weighting and its animation. And you can see here that we've successfully done this. The next thing is, is we want to be able to apply um, the deformation of the other model. Now the other model could be the case that it's got a load of morphs on it, or in this particular case, it's just been deformed. It's the same thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this. I'm just going to copy it from here and just paste it into our other scene. There it is. I'm going to call this deformed. I'm just going to hide this. Now we know this mesh is deformed. Okay. It's got the same sub D level. It's deformed. And we want to better apply this to this mesh. So all we do to this is we just select the mesh that's being rigged, right click, go to the character tags and select pose morph. We need to select the um, points as to be the, the way or method it's going to be applying it. And then we can choose the type of settings that we want for this morph. So it may be suited to be a correctional as an example there. All we have to do is drag and drop the deformed mesh into the target of the advanced area of the post morph tag. And you can see here that it's actually applied it. Now, the next thing is, is I just want to go to this little tiny triangle and then click on clear. What this does is it will apply the morph to the morph. Or should I say it apply the deformation to the morph in which I can now delete this other mesh. No longer need it. The difference now is that we've now got the same mesh that was originally low polygon, now subdivided once. It's kept its weightings and its animation, but now we've got the additional morph applied to the geometry, as you can see here. So that's great. If you wanted it to be the case that you don't want the morph to be um, like this, but apply permanently, you can select both of these and then you can actually merge them together. But I think that kind of deals with what I wanted to do in this video.